let's take a look at calculating the future value of an annuity. An annuity is the payment or receipt of equal cash amounts per period for a specified amount of time. Some common applications are insurance and retirement plan premiums and payouts, loan payments, and savings plans for future events such as starting a business, going to college, or purchasing expensive items like real estate or business equipment. This figure shows how the future value of an annuity works in terms of value and time. That can be compared with how present value of an annuity works based on value and time. Simple annuities are annuities in which the number of compounding periods per year coincides with the number of annuity payments per year. Complex annuities are those in which the annuity payments are compounding periods do not coincide. As with compound interest, annuities can be calculated manually by tables and by formulas. Manual computation is useful for illustrative purposes, however, it's too tedious because it requires a calculation for each period. Students with financial, business, or scientific calculators may be able to use the following formulas to solve for the future value of an ordinary annuity and the future value of an annuity due, where FV equals future value, PMT equals annuity payment, I equals interest rate per period, nominal rate plus periods per year, and N equals the number of periods, years, X periods per year. Let's take a look at an example. What is the future value of an ordinary annuity of $100 per month for three years at 6% interest compounded monthly? Step 1. Solve for future value as you see here. Step 1 can be continued as we work out the math. Finally, we have a future value of 100 times 39.336105, or a future value of $3,933.61. Students with financial calculators may use the following formulas to solve for the present value of an ordinary annuity and the present value of an annuity due. In these formulas, PV equals present value. PMT equals annuity payment, I equals interest rate per period, the nominal rate plus periods per year, and the N equals the number of periods, the years times the period per year. Note that the annuity due formula is the same as the ordinary annuity formula, except that it's multiplied by 1 plus I. This is to account for the fact that with an annuity due, each payment earns interest for one additional period because payments are made at the beginning of each period, not the end. Here's an example. What is the present value of an ordinary annuity of $100 per month for four years at 6% interest compounded monthly? Step 1. Solve for the present value using the following formula. If we continue step 1, we can do the math to calculate present value. Our present value then equals 100 times 42.58031778, which means present value equals $4,258.03. A sinking fund situation occurs when the future value of an annuity is known, and the payment required each period to amount to that future value is the unknown. Sinking funds are accounts used to set aside equal amounts of money at the end of each period at compound interest for the purpose of saving for a future obligation. Businesses use sinking funds to accumulate money for such things as new equipment, facility expansion, and other expensive items needed in the future. Another common use is to retire financial obligations such as bond issues that come due in a future date. Individuals can use sinking funds to save for college education, a car, the down payment on a house, or a vacation. Amortization is the opposite of a sinking fund. Amortization is a financial agreement whereby a lump sum obligation is incurred at compound interest, now, the present value, and is paid off or liquidated by a series of equal periodic payments for a specified amount of time. With amortization, the amount of the loan or obligation is given, and the equal payments that will amortize or pay off the obligation must be calculated. Some businesses use amortization to include paying off loans and liquidating insurance or retirement funds. 
Sinking fund payments may be calculated by using the following formula, where FV is the amount needed in the future, I is the interest rate per period, the nominal rate divided by periods per year, and N is the number of periods, years, times period per year. Here's an example. Ocean Air Corporation needs $100,000 in five years to pay off a bond issue. What sinking fund payment is required at the end of each month at 12% interest, compounded monthly, to meet its financial obligation? In step one, we solve for the sinking fund payment by using our formula. So our sinking fund payment is 100,000 times 0 0.01224444, which means our sinking fund payment is $1,224.44. Amortization payments may be calculated by using the following formula. In this formula, PV is the amount of the loan or obligation, I is the interest rates per period, and N is the number of periods. Here's an example. What amortization payment is required each month at 18% interest to pay off a $5,000 loan in three years? Step one, solve for the amortization payment using our formula like you see here. So our amortization payment is 5,000 times 0 0.03 which equals a total amortization payment of $180.76.